Today everyone, this video will talk about determining frequency and percentage using Microsoft Excel. So once again, we're making use of our previous example. A research that aims to assess the level of acceptability of Equiper as learning management platform. And we have four SOPs. And from these four SOPs, we could actually determine that SOP number one, which is the profile of the respondents that has four variables will be presented using frequency and percentage so as SOP number four which is the challenges encountered by the respondents so we have an eye already on the two SOPs so looking at our coded data which we discussed in our previous video so we have here 75 respondents so let's start uh, determining the frequency and percentage of sex, grade level, and strand. Frequency and percentage is not applicable under final grade and etect because a final grade and etect is not represented in either nominal or ordinal data. So this is scale data that needs to be presented using arithmetic mean. So the only variables under profile where frequency and percentage will be used will be sex, grade level, and strand. And of course, our five challenges. Challenges 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we are assuming that the challenges here are manually encoded. So let's determine the frequency. So I prepared here a sample table with the headers. The actual variable frequency, which is F, and percentage. And then we have the totals row here, same as grade level. And then for the strand, as you notice, I have here the rank column for the strand and no rank column for sex and grade level. Customarily, we do not really put in the rank column if the number of indicators are less than 3. Or the number of indicators is less than 3. We do not put in the rank column anymore. And then for the challenges, so you have here five challenges. So let's, let, let's start determining the frequency. In determining the frequency, I'll be making use of the function count if. So I'll type equal sign count if open parenthesis. So I'm under a different sheet. I'll click on the row sheet where the data is. And then I have to highlight the sex. All of the values under sex. From the first respondent down to the last respondent. And then I, type, I will type in comma. So if you look at here under the formula bar. So that's comma. And then I'll type in 1. Because 1 represents male. So I'll, and I'll press enter. So I'll have there the frequency. And then after this, I could just copy the formula. Copy the formula under formula bar, bar and then press escape, double click on this one and then paste, control V and then change one here to two for female because the code that we used for female is two and then we have 37 male and 38 female. So I just use the sum function here is equal to sum, open parenthesis, I'll highlight this two and press enter for the sum. And for my percentage, I just have to put in your equal sign, click on 37 here, and then divided by total number of respondents. In this case, the total number of respondents is 75, so I have your 75. So this uh, the divisor is dependent on the total number of respondents. So if I have 150 respondents, this will be 150. If I have 325 respondents, it will, this will be 325. And then I have times 100. So I'll press enter and then I will just reduce the number of decimal to at least one decimal place to, or to just one decimal place. So I'll click on this one, decrease decimal, reduce it to the single decimal place. And now that I have here the percentage for male, I'll just copy this and then paste here. Or I'll just click on this one and then since I'm copying formula, when you point at the lower right, you have see there a small box that's called the fill handle. When your mouse cursor turns to a black cross, you just have to click it and drag it down. That's the same as copy and paste. 
and since I'm copying the formula here so I'll click this one look at uh, point at the fill handle and then when it turns to a uh, black crossed so I'll just drag this to the right to copy the formula there so I'm done basically with the frequency and percentage for the sex variable and then for the grade level again I have here equal sign and then count if open parenthesis click on row highlight all of the values here under grid level comma they have here comma and then one which is grade 11 as coded and then press enter so I have here my grid 11 and then copy this highlight control C press escape double click on this one control V or victory paste and then change this to 2 press enter and then copy the formulas here highlight copy because I have the same number of indicators 2 and 2 so I could copy the formula on top and then for my percentage this can also be copy copy control C and then paste it here so I have here my percentage and for the strand so it's the same thing I have to use count F open parenthesis click on the row and then highlight all of the values under strand comma one for ABM and then after this I just have to copy this control C escape double click on this one paste change this to two enter double click on this one paste again and then change to three and then use the sum function to get the sum of all this and then for the percentage once again so equal sign click on 23 divided by 75 times 100 reducing the decimal places to just one and copying this dragging this down and for the total I just copy this control C and V and this one has a rank so I'll make use of the rank function so it's equal to rank that AVG so that's average and then I'll click on this one comma and highlight all this the three excluding the total and then press F4 so you notice that the dollar signs were inserted so that's used to fix the reference and then press enter and then click on this one and then point at the fill handle once again and then drag this down so for the challenges for the challenges this one is a multiple response question these are manually encoded if in case the data are not manually encoded meaning you use google form you just have to go to google form responses and then under this you already see actual frequencies and percentage so if you're using online surveys but this one is a multiple response question so we'll use the sum function again so it's equal to sum open parenthesis highlight all of the responses and then press enter and then you just have to copy this so click on the first value point at the fill handle and then drag this to the right to see the frequencies of all and then I copy this one and then do right click and then paste values so I'm doing this because I'll be transposing the values so I'll highlight again and then copy and then go to my sheet and then for the frequency if you notice I have an asterisk there because this is a multiple response question so I'll do right click here and then choose transpose so the values as you notice will all be listed not from uh, based on columns but they are now placed in a single row so I'll just click on the grid line here and then center the value and then the usual formula for the percentage so that's the actual cell address divided by 75 times 100 press enter and then click on the this value point at the lower right fill handle I may drag this down I may do control C and then control V for copy and paste or I could actually do double click to do copy paste and then for the rank is equal to rank.avg 
Once again, click on the first value, comma, highlight all, press F4 under your keyboard, and then press enter. Click on the first value for the rank, point at the fill handle, and then you double click for the rest of the ranks. So that's basically how you use Microsoft Excel in determining the frequency and percentage.